Hey, what is going on guys? So I've waited a long time to bring you this unboxing. This here is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus 5G in phantom gold. And I pre-ordered this thing as soon as pre-orders went up for the S21 line. I believe that was when, around January 14th, something like that. The day of Samsung unpacked. And to pre-order one of these special colors or order them at all, you've got to do it on the Samsung website. There's a few for the S21 Ultra, including phantom titanium, phantom brown, phantom navy. And of course, you've got a phantom red and a phantom gold for the S21 Plus. So it's finally here. There were maybe two days of weather delays, which turned into eight days of FedEx delays, uh, but it's here. So let's get right to it. Of course, when you order an S21, usually the S on the front is the color of the phone that you got. For example, on the Phantom White regular S21, it's uh, sort of this dullish uh, white S here. If you order the Phantom Silver S21 Plus, it's kind of a shimmery S. That's a silverish color on the front, but with the custom colors, it's just black there on the front. So uh, this is the 256 gigabyte of internal storage variant, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, I believe. You can get this also in 128 gigabytes internal storage. So let's open this up. All right, just came out of the packaging here. Must have been stored in their warehouses for, I don't know, well, eight days. Was stuck in Texas and then Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, these boxes are rather empty these days. Uh, there is no charger. Typically you have your booklets kind of stuck up here on the top in these Samsung boxes, but nothing there. The phone, which I will put off to the side here before I look at it and perhaps gawk over it. And uh, here are your booklets. And of course you've got same thing you get with the other S21 devices you buy. I believe they're all the same, a USB to U USB C to USB C cable there, nothing special. And then of course you've got your booklets, kind of a quick start guide, quick reference guide, I guess they're calling it, Samsung Care promotion, nothing really there, that's it. Yeah, as I've said before, these unboxings have become a little bit depressing. But the reason we're unboxing anyway is this phone. Now for the first time ever in real life, I'm about to see this phantom gold color in person. We've only seen renders online, and to the day that I am uploading this video, I have not seen any videos that show us the phantom gold, only the phantom red. So I turn it around, and there it is, phantom gold. And I can already tell you that the shade of gold is different on this back glass than it is on the, on the metal trim here on the side. And let me go ahead and take off this plastic. There it is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. So as I said, the sides here are kind of a different shade of gold in the back, which is a little bit strange. I wanna say it's almost a, it's almost a rose gold colored hue on the back and a regular gold on the sides. It's an interesting uh, decision there uh, on Samsung's part as far as the color combination goes. Uh, let me take off the rest of the plastic. And there's a bunch of plastic on the sides I'm going to take off as well. But first, again, this is just packaging film. This is not a screen protector. And let me rip off all the little plastic on the sides and get back to you. All right, and we are back here. I took the plastic off of all the sides and whatnot. Get this into focus here. All right, sorry for any camera shaking. And uh, you see the microphones on the top. You see that's more of a true gold, kind of a yellowish gold um, on the top and the sides, the entire metal chassis. Nothing on this side. On the bottom, you have your SIM tray. Of course, no micro SD support in the S21. You've got your speaker grill your, and your USB-C port. Of course, a bunch of antenna lines, including an extra one now because of 5G. On this side, you see, hopefully that's into focus here, the power button, the volume rocker. I think Samsung officially calls this the side key since uh, you can also use it for Bixby or to launch an app. And uh, again, one, one more quick look here at the color. And you see that it is, uh, I will say that it's a, a slightly different shade of gold depending on the angle, but um, it's mostly a, 
how do I describe it? There's there's a slight pinkish hue to the to the gold. So that's why I was calling it rose gold. So yeah, you may see it as slightly copper, um, something something like a, a something in between a gold, a rose gold, and a copper. So uh, definitely has a more pinkish hue. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Definitely has a more pinkish hue than the uh, than the me the gold color on the metal chassis. So let me throw my SIM card in here and boot this up. I've already done a couple of unboxings of S21 devices uh, for you. The software in these special colors, these special edition custom colors, is not any different or anything, but I'll boot it up anyway, just to show you. All right, let's see if there is any juice in here. Of course, this phone was in for quite the ride and probably stuck in some extreme temperatures for a couple of days at that Samsung or FedEx warehouse, wherever it was. Of course, Samsung ships their phones in the US out of Texas. And you see it just says Samsung Galaxy, which uh, I kind of like. Uh, it doesn't say the exact model anymore at the boot up screen. It just says Samsung Galaxy. We get the service provider update message. And I am guessing that that is going to restart now. And the phone is indeed rebooting after that service provider update. I've got a T-Mobile SIM card in here. And again, this is uh, unlocked. You cannot get these uh, color variants through your carriers. They are only available unlocked on the Samsung website. Got an LTE plus icon there on my network. Uh, I do have 5G in this area. It's probably just a matter of provisioning and that'll be up there probably shortly. So I'm just going to boot this phone up from scratch. I am not going to restore any data, I'm not going to restore any uh, information. All right, I'm skipping some of the protection stuff just to get this thing booted up. I didn't set up a pin or pattern. I didn't set up my fingerprint or anything. If you want to see any of that stuff, I've got a couple of more S21 unboxing videos on my channel. All right, all set up here. And this is the default screen, boot screen you're gonna get as soon as you get into the phone. It's going to choose, I think the same wallpaper that it does for one of the other colors, maybe the phantom pink. And maybe because that is the closest other color to this one. Let's dive right into settings here and see what we have. Uh, of course, all of the same settings and options that you'd expect. As I mentioned, there is no special software or special skin or anything like that on these custom Samsung colors. So let's just, for example, go into display. Let's turn on dark mode. We've got motion smoothness set to adaptive. Screen mode on vivid, I like that. And let's go back and check out our navigation here. Uh, probably down in display, we'll go down to navigation bar and we'll change this to the swipe gestures and I don't need gesture hints. And there we go, right back to the home screen. Uh, out of the box, we have 14% of the internal storage used. Again, this is a 256 gigabyte variant. That's 37 gigabytes that are used. And you can do the math, math on that one, I believe, that uh, leaves us with about, what, 219 gigabytes free. My math could be wrong. And that's about it, everybody. This is the Phantom Gold Samsung Galaxy. S21 Plus. I will show you the color one more time. That may be the only reason why you actually are watching this video anyway. So there you go. Show you it from a couple different angles. And I, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do another video just focusing only on the color. Just me shutting up and uh, showing the phone from a bunch of different angles. Kind of like I'm doing now, but more of a extended version. Like I said, it feels like uh, or looks kind of like a copperish rose gold color on the back and a true gold on the metal frame. Of course, the metal frame here is matte around the camera housing and it is glossy around the rest of the frame. Definitely looks like two different shades of gold. So it would appear that they just use the same gold metal frame that they did from the Phantom Violet, sort of the hero color for this phone, and just added a different color back. There you see that Samsung logo is a little bit glossier as opposed to the rest of the, the black, which is kind of that, that frosted matte finish. I believe Samsung calls it a haze finish. Get that back in focus for you. And that's about it, everybody. Let me know what you think of this color. And I also have on the way the Phantom Titanium S21 Ultra. So if you wanna see my thoughts on that and see me unbox that and check out that color, make sure you subscribe and got plenty of other videos coming up 
as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.